Hi, I'm Josh with the Heritage Collection, here to talk about the 1969 Pontiac Firebird. First of all, we're going to walk around the exterior and cover some of the features, um, like popping the hood here. Which is, uh, there's a little T-handle bracket way underneath here. Pull all the way out. And lift up, revealing the uh, Pontiac 400 motor. Make sure it's shut because sometimes it can be a little deceiving. And we'll uh, roll around back here and we'll cover how to get into the trunk. So to get in the trunk, it's the, uh, the round key as opposed to the square key, which is for ignition and door locks. This reveals the uh, part-time spare and all the original jack and carpets and everything like that. And then to put gas in it, it's underneath the license plate, which would obviously not be here. It's a little funky, but you just pop the cap off. There, and then once you have the gas pump in there, you can uh, let the door go. You just gotta make sure you put the cap back on. Getting the square key will get you into the car. We'll go over the interior. And now we're gonna show you how to put the top down. You gotta start by rolling the windows down at least a little bit. Obviously the door's open here, but most or all the windows can be reached by uh, sitting in the driver's seat. And then you need to put down the, uh, the sun visors here. And there are two latches on the side. Once those are loose, you need to just pay attention to these hooks and make sure that they're not catching as the top goes up or down. And then the switch is right on the left side there. And you kind of want to watch and listen as it goes down, making sure it goes down fairly evenly. And then the top is down. So now we're going to cover the uh, all the interior uh, controls here, starting with HVAC. So the top is going to be the selection for <clears throat> uh, where it's blowing out. So we have just off. We have inside, which is just a basic vent. You have AC right here, which is just gonna blow cold all the time. You have heat, and then de-ice is gonna be your defroster up top here. This is the vent, or what is now uh, recirculation and regular, so this would be vent there. And then this is your speed for your fan over here. And then your temperature here, hot all the way to the right, cold all the way to the left. So the radio is right here, and you just, all the way to the left is off. We'll turn it on here. You can tune it here, there, it has presets. This is where you switch AM and then FM's right here. And then it also has the factory console A-Track player, which is a little goofy to put them in, but you just, you have to, you take it out of gear. And once you slide it in, it'll just start playing. There's some adjustments down here. It has its own volume switch here. Pop it out when you're done. Obviously you can do that when you're driving. Then it's a uh, three-speed automatic with lows all the way down, second, drive, neutral, reverse, and park all the way up. So over here on the driver's side here, we have antenna up and down here. We have the lights, which is parking lights, headlights, and then down on the floor, we have our high beam which there will be a red light on the speedo that shows that the beams are on, high beams are on, and then now they're off. And then your wiper control is right here. And then the top control here, so obviously up would be closing the roof, down is gonna be opening the roof. Um, a mirror control right here on the door for the driver's side, the passenger side, you have to control the mirror uh, by itself. And then the parking brake is right here, and the release for it is right above it. And now we'll uh, show starting, it's pretty easy. Key in, pump the gas twice. Fire it up. And sometimes this car can be just a little bit fussy so that if it doesn't start, the best way to do that is just hold the gas straight down. 
nullifier up there. So we'll cover the gauges in the steering column here. It is a tilt, it's over on the driver's side of the column here. There's a couple different positions here. The turn signal's right here with cruise on the end. It's just a vacuum cruise, it's always on. So you just hit the button and it will read. Obviously, turn signal works normally. And then over on the side right here, there's a small chrome button that you push in for hazard lights. And then you just pull it out when you want them off here. And then inside the gauge cluster, we have the speedo on the right. And then on the left side here, we have um, generator light. So if that comes on when the car is running, that means your um, alternator belt just broke and you are just running off pure battery. Um, to the left here, we have your water temperature gauge. That needs to be generally in the middle or just above or just below the middle towards 250. Um, up top is the fuel gauge, and then all the way on the right side is oil pressure gauge, which will typically run pretty high, cold, and then when it gets warm, it should uh, settle back down to the middle. Um, horn's right in the middle here. And then up top on the roof, or on the hood, I should say, is the, uh, the tachometer. Um, just showing right there. So we'll cover putting the top back up. It's essentially the reverse as putting it down, but key on. Generally, you want the car running while doing it, um, but you don't need to. Um, you need to put down the sun visors, make sure those are down, and then you hit the top up switch. Make sure the windows are at least down or partially like they were when we put it, put it down. And then I always like to just take my thumb and kind of make sure it gets uh, into the, the hole there, the slot. And then you just go down. Go down, you can flip your visors back up and the top is up. And that's the overview of the 1969 Pontiac Firebird. If you have any questions, please let us know. Thank you.